Oh my God, I'm doing driving lessons in a drive through <laughs> Small fries and a small Coke Zero. Thank you, Riley. We didn't see that. Didn't. Riley's dad's an arsonist. Oh, look at the view. We heart, heartly fall. And I didn't want a black box because I do speed occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she does love a bit of coasting. Wow. Yeah, I do like coasting. Let's go. Let's go. Good afternoon. I'll be your examiner for today. Ha 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 ha. Your examiner won't just be like that, right? <laughs> so we're going to do a mock test around a real test route in Hartlepool, which is where you've actually got your driving test in a short amount of time. Yeah. Secret, a secret short amount of time? Next week. Next week? Yeah. Oh, this is new information. It's next week. Yeah. Cool. Because you're actually Vicky's people, so this matters. It does. Can you feel the pressure in the back, Vic? Yeah, not just pupil, Riley's my niece. Wow, so... <laughs> <don't> be, <laughs> so, Riley has to be really good. Let's have some fun. I'm going to ask you a show me, tell me question. A vehicle safety question. Um, do you have to open the bonnet? Yes, I'll just leave it on me. Pull it till it pops, Raz. It won't pop! <laughs> ah. Ah. And again, babe. So what I'd like to know is, yeah. how do you check your oil before starting a journey? No, that's not the question. The question <laughs> is just, how do you check your oil level? So, I think this is the dipstick. Yeah. Well, that's where you'd fill it up. Ah, uh, right. Is the, if that, that pulls that out, the then, dipstick. Yeah, that's the dipstick. Oh, okay. Right. Bloody mini. <laughs> Silly car. How rude! How rude! <laughs> it's rock hard to get that out. Pull the dipstick out. Yeah. Wipe it clean. Yeah. And dip it back in. Yeah. That's it. And then check the level to make sure it's in between the maximum and the minimum. Shove it. Right. Back Perfect. In. <laughs> okay. Um, on your actual driving test, if they ask you anything under the bonnet, yes. you don't have to touch anything under the bonnet, you just have to point at point. it and tell them what you're going to do. Well done, Raz. Cool, let's jump in. Oh, good. When you're ready, let's drive on. Good luck, Riley. Is Vicky going to sit in the back with you while you do your driving test? Yeah, yeah? I think so. Okay. So that when you do something silly, she can look at you through the mirror and scowl. Yeah, like, like two winks for yes and one wink for You've no. You've set up a system. I can't, can't, I can't, can't say wink. that on YouTube. I can't wink. Oh no, you can't. I can't wink. So the uh, test centre is actually just over there yeah. in that car park. You will park up in that bay, but to stop messing about with driving tests, we've just used the opposite car park. The sat nav is directing you. Just turn right here and follow it until it turns off. Turn right, then at the end of the road, turn right. Oh, that's proper quiet. They'll have the volume turned up right loud as well. Bit like that. Turn right. Turn right. Oh, I feel like I'm sat in the back of an actual test. Do you feel nervous? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sitting in the back of driving tests is the actual worst feeling in the world. Because oh. it matters so much to us as instructors as well as you as a learner. How do you feel? Do you feel nervous? No. No, only titting about on YouTube. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at the view. We heart heartly pull. Love it around here. So nice. Do you want to do a manoeuvre? Yeah, we're going to turn left into the car park, follow that red car ahead of us. No messing about for Vicky's people. We're going to go straight in on a manoeuvre. See how busy it is. Yeah, it's really busy. You only need one really space. Busy. Okay, what I want you to do, go this way, find any bay that you want and reverse into it. Right. Cool? Yeah. Four. Here's where I'm going to put suspense music underneath. Oh, that's my car. 
<laughs> we didn't see that. Didn't. <laughs> see what? <laughs> to the middle of both. Oh, six point check. with that? I think so. Okay. Check. I'm in my side. We're in. Fantastic. Let's have a look at my side. We're in. It's a good job it's only a small car. Successful Bay Park? Yeah. Successful Bay Park? Okay. <laughs> oh, Vicky's doing the proper I'm on a driving <laughs> test thing of no. like, I'm not talking. <laughs> this is a trap. If you're asking me a question, I'm not going to answer you. Uh, well done. <laughs> And this is what I meant about like, if you do something silly on your mock test, then yeah. you will remember it for your real test. So, six point check. Yes. Before you start reversing. Yeah. Not while you start reversing. <laughs> what do you mean that you've got reverse on, you've got a car? Yeah, I've got a yourself. car. Yeah, I've got a Renault Clio, but and my- you haven't passed your test yet? No. Wow. <laughs> wow, ow, ow. I know. I got surprised off my parents. <laughs> And it'll be so good to be able to uh, throw your L plates in the bin, won't it? So are you going to do that? The picture where you throw them in the air and then drive on? No, me. I'll hit myself in the head or something. Straight <laughs> on. <laughs> Straight on Instagram. Uh, let's drive on. Are you on Instagram? Do you want to shout out your Instagram or your social sorry, media? I'm on Instagram, but I don't think I know what it actually my username actually is. Don't know your Instagram name? No, I don't at really Riley. use it. It probably is at Riley, something daft like that. And we are going to turn left out of the car park onto the main road. I know you do a lot on LinkedIn because I see you pop up yes. on my, my LinkedIn all the time. Yes. Do you want to shout out your LinkedIn so pe employers and sick MBE people can holler at you? That, it's just Riley Sweeney. I oh, think. just your name? Just nothing, my name. Nothing yeah. fancy because I want to look professional, not stupid like Francis T. Yes. Schrock <laughs> <laughs> yeah, You could be Riley the constructor. Oh, oh my God, oh. yes! Yeah. Because <laughs> you do construction, right? Yes, I work in the construction industry, apprentice, site manager at Wilmot Dixon. Um, the site manager? Yeah. So you tell loads of 40, 50 year old massive builder blokes what to do? Yeah, we work together as a team to help each other complete the project. Okay. Yeah. What projects are you working on at the moment? At the moment, I'm on a local site in Darlington. It's called the Darlington Railway Heritage Quarters. Um, so it's a scheme of four or five buildings um, that is um, just for a... Oh, you just got there before, <laughs> before the camera turned on. <laughs> well, you didn't record it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Riley does a lot of amazing stuff outside of work as well. Yeah, like him. what? Go on. Super proud, aren't he? Aww. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, I'm on um, a youth advisory group for a couple of companies. I work with the Careers and Enterprise Company, Edge Foundation, um, to help improve education for youth across the UK. Wow, okay. Um, so I've been to Parliament recently, I've been on the radio, and just do a lot with companies to get youth voice at the heart of all of the work that they're doing. Love that. 
get in the comments and show Riley some love and positivity because that is incredible. You went to par wait, you went to Parliament, but you didn't sort out the mess. No. Okay. It's <laughs> only so much one seventeen year old can do, Riley, isn't it? Okay, you're seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Well, the amount that you've done so far in charge of a building site and on a youth enterprise, that is, you're doing well. Yeah. And about to get a driving license. I know, I can't wait to be able to drive to work. <laughs> How far do you have to go to work? Uh, probably about 25 minutes, it's not too far. In the car? In the car, yeah. Okay. But it's like an hour journey on the train, so it'll just is be Is that what nicer. you've been doing so far? Well, or does Aunt Eva Key take you to work and let you practice? Aunt Eva Key has took me to work and let me like drive to work a couple of times, but my dad's quite good at taking me to work and dropping me off. Okay. Just quite good. Liam's a bit of a ledge too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my dad's quite good. Quite good. <laughs> He's all right. He could improve. He's all right, by the though. time he sees this, you've passed your test because yeah. you might have just terminated your lift. <laughs> <laughs> well, he complains that he has to get up early, so he complains a lot. Does he not have to get up early anyway to burn the stuff that he burns? He, Liam. Riley's dad's an arsonist for, for, a, <laughs> for a living. <laughs> no, because he does like seven... Fish face! We miss... We, what, we... From the last I'll video? Bring you, I'll bring you for tea. Fish, I'll bring you okay. for tea. Gonna have to get B-roll now, the fish face. <laughs> Stand by. Carry on. Well, Liam, what does he do? Well, he, he works like seven day, five days on, seven days off. We're not going to mention the fact that you went 25 in a 20 After zone back right there. Because uh, right. I knew it in the year, I did speed there. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's this? An admission? An Love admission of girl. Honesty. Well done, Riley. Turn yeah. right. Uh, right. Oh, that was here. Now we're going oh. the wrong way. It's okay. Keep going and she'll reboot us. Probably make you turn around and do a handbrake turn. But we weren't. We, we, I wasn't concentrating either. I was too enthralled by the fact that I just saw fish face. It's the next right turn, please. Next right turn. Your examiner won't be this distracting, Riley. It'll be such a walk in the park and do driving What check. do you mean? I'm you distracting. You haven't got to go, Riley, Riley. Turn around when possible. A little bit of coasting, but that's okay. Yes, I like coasting. You like coasting? You can't get marked down in test for coasting, though. I've done a few videos turn about coasting. when possible. On TikTok, at Driving School TV. Have you got TikTok? Do you want to shout out anything? No. About TikTok? No, hate TikTok. TikTok, <laughs> TikTok sucks. If you just drive past that junction and reverse back in, well. On a speed bump. That'll do. This is one of the manoeuvres that they used to do in the old test. <laughs> oh. I'm in the back and even I did it. <laughs> <laughs> is your test after Tuesday? I can cut this out if it's not. No. Okay. <laughs> I might post this on Tuesday, so if it's after Tuesday, then you can watch it uh -huh. and see your see your own driving. I've shown Riley bits back from my dash cam. Yeah. Because during my debrief, sometimes I need to produce evidence, Riley, don't I? Yeah. Turn right. Vicky has to produce evidence. Yeah, because of your, the mistakes that you've made, because you yeah, can't remember it's them. Different from a driver's seat perspective. Is it? What if I had a different view? Because Vicky's not a professional that's done this for 17 years. Yeah, but... But I'm on it, Auntie, so what do I know? <laughs> Turn left. left. <laughs> well, I'm driving, so... So I'm right. So I'm right. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I'm like, you, yeah, you've done a bit of coasting, and you're like, yeah. And what, Francis? I like that. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh. After 300 yards, Turn left. Okay, we're going to go the right way this time. Yes. And look at the... Oh, such a nice day today. Such a nice... This is what happens when you go up north. Vicky's always like, yeah, in the north it always rains and it's miserable. No, it doesn't. As soon as you turned the cameras off yesterday, Turn what left. happened? Oh, yeah, it pissed up. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we come up to the north and film, oh. it looks beautiful. Right. Maybe. Could we have done that any better? Yes, yeah, so I've planned it a little bit better. Okay. And what would you have planned it for me? Slowed down, geared down, yeah. and then went. I'll tell you what you did though. You controlled it nicely with the brakes and you were in control of the steering. So that would have been fine as well. Yeah. Nice mirror check to overtake this van. What a Happy novelty. The road, turn left. What colour are your buses? Red. Red? Oh, buses yeah, are supposed oh, to be red, right, yeah. yeah. London bus. London bus. Is there a thing though where you can only have a bus in London then? 
I don't know. Is that is that a thing? No. So we've got we have yellow taxis. Okay. What colour of London We have taxis? black taxis. It's black called cab. a black cab. Yeah. Oh. You, hire, you hail a black cab. Guys, get in the comments. Where are you from? What colour are your buses? Can't believe I'm asking this question, but I'm, <laughs> I'm genuinely interested. What colour are your buses and where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> Not your best wife, answer. <laughs> Watch, this is going to go on TikTok. It's going to be my next viral video. <laughs> Maybe you should just visit Bus different chat. towns and just video some buses. buses. I could be like Francis Bourgeois. You know the train guy? Not for <laughs> yeah. buses? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the same name, so it's like Well, there you go. Destined. It's meant to be. I can go around with my head cam. <laughs> Seaton, we're in Seaton. Why yeah. do I recognise this? And not just because we've been to that Sainsbury's. Is this where we went on the show? Is this was a big place or is someone from here? Is this where Linda's from? No, Larry's Lanes. Oh, fish, okay. Beach, okay. Ice cream, <laughs> cocktails. Seaton is where all the good stuff is. Tell you what, Riley, find a safe place and pull up on the left. Right, okay. I love how much I'll concentrate to do right? <laughs> Do you not concentrate this hard normally? Uh, it's a bus stop, let me go past the bus stop. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout oh, and take the third oh, exit. Oh. How do you think it's going so far? Your examiner won't ask you for inter intermediate feedback. Spares a lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm checking my three point checks. Yeah. Other than that, I think sound. Okay, tell you what, on your actual driving test, the examiner is going to pull you over on the left a lot. Yeah. This is a good time for reflection. Like, if you've been thinking about, oh, I made that mistake or that mistake, think about it now, because they're going to say pull away when you're ready. Yes. Take two seconds and just think, right, everything that I've done so far, that's done, and now I'm focusing on the next bit. It's a really good opportunity to now <sighs> deep breath, focus on the next bit. Yes. Have a sip of water as well. Do you take water for people's? on their test? Yeah, normally, but Riley won't drink. No. You won't drink? No. No, I save the vodka for after, but you can have a water, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, I don't know, I've never really drank a lot of water. Non-alcoholic beverage. Even when she was a baby, you never used to drink a lot? No. No? No. She never finished a bottle or anything. Oh. Oh, probably cringy auntie, talked about when you were a baby. Oh. Yeah, Sorry, babes. <laughs> <laughs> Insert oh. photo of Riley as a baby. <laughs> yeah. I won't do that, I won't do that. I've never stressed for any exam I've ever had. But I know when I do stress, it's going to go terribly wrong. So I just never stress. Yeah, it's a great mindset to have. Uh, let's drive on when you're ready. Mm. I stressed for your theory test, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you need laugh. Hilarious. Why did you stress? She'll tell you in a minute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need counselling still. Mm. PTSD. So, on the day, I had my theory test booked for the day of my birthday. Yeah. So, left, opened all my presents, left it dead late, got ready, then I realised I've lost my driving licence. No. Oh yes. my God. And then, I didn't, I knew it wasn't there and I knew I wasn't, After like, I'd yards, left it. Left right it. on the roundabout and right. take the third exit. Tell me after this roundabout. Okay. Lovely jubbly, that was really good. Couldn't have done that better. What happened to your driving license? So you had your no driving license, but a theory test on that day? Yeah, so, well, I, I checked it and I knew it wasn't where I'd left it and I'd lost it. So then I was like, oh, do I tell my mum? So I, get, do I tell my mum? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I looked for it for a little bit longer and then I went downstairs, I was like, do you know where my driving license is? She's like, what do you mean? So then I rang my auntie Vic. I don't know where my driving license is. Then we were upstairs in my wardrobe flipping everything upside down. My auntie Vicky's house was flipped upside down. And what? Couldn't, couldn't find exit. it. Then turn left. And then we found it like as we were meant to be going for my test. Yeah. A test was 10. I was picking up a quarter past Cross nine. Cross the roundabout and take the Get second Get there early. Exit. You've then plenty of time. Turn left. 
and it tells you to be there 15 minutes before, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, And Ryan yeah. found her licence at quarter to ten. So you had 15 minutes to get to the test centre. To get to yeah. Middlesbrough. And no time to be, uh, so did they let you still in? Yes. yes. Just, but I wasn't the last one in there. Okay. So I wasn't the latest. You do get a little bit of grey. You get five minutes, After yeah. After 200 yards, turn left, then turn right. You get five minutes on your driving test too. I think that was the reason why I passed. Because you were... Turn left, left. then turn right. Because you were late and didn't have time to flap and think about it. Yes. Like, I don't know, I lost my driver's licence. So I was saying to my auntie Vic, I just need to lose my licence. No. Ready for when my test is. No. Let's not do that. <laughs> I think you, know you realised what you did there. I did. You left it in third again, but you yes. controlled it nicely around the corner through all of the After distraction yards, with talking. Right. You only forgot to change the gear. You still kept the speed really nice and you were observing really well on that junction as well. Where are we going next? Oh, right. Okay. Right. Everybody does this. <laughs> Everyone does this. Turn right. Yeah. I know a few people have got left and right tattooed on their, on their hands as well. Are you considering this move? No, Tattoo a left and I don't Ellen like up. needles, so I don't okay. think I could sit through like Not gonna, Not no. going to do that. Shout out Natasha who did that. <laughs> Eleanor, yeah. legends, to pass her driving test and she did. That's dedication to the game. She was sharpie, I think. Do you want me to get a sharpie out on the day test? Yeah, well you said to drive and inter examiner people can... Um, they'll point, yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll point. point. Absolutely, cast If you the ask will. them to, yeah. Cast the wheel. You didn't ask me to point. Do you want me to point, Riley? No, I think it's distracting, though. No. Shapes and gains. <laughs> Left, right, up, down. I'm busy. Probably could have went there. Definitely could have went there. Probably still could have. Would you, would you say, as a learner, that was hesitation? No, because you didn't know how, what, like, what that van was doing. Okay. People worry about hesitation a lot, but you have to miss a pretty substantial gap. And would you or say hold that people was hesitation? Up. No, I'd say borderline, but no, I wouldn't give you a mark for that at all. It was still safe and didn't hold anyone up. It's a gap that you think safe, not the examiner who's been driving with loads of experience or one that we'd take. It's one that you know that you can comfortably get out in. And if you don't take After it, that's when yards, you get. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. If it's like, oh, I could have had a picnic in that gap. Then, <laughs> yeah, you're going to get marked down. <laughs> Could have been out reverse back and gone again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go left on the roundabout and take the first right. exit. I am not actually. Oh, she does love a bit of coasting. Go. Wow. Yeah, I do like coasting. You do like coasting. Yeah. It's easier than changing your gear. I've got a new TikTok video that's definitely going to go on. Because people say that coasting saves fuel. Really? People think that while you're going along, if you've got the clutch down, then the engine doesn't have to be pushed along or the engine's not pushing you along. But actually, if you've got the clutch up and you're not pressing the gas, the momentum is pushing the engine along. But if you've got the clutch down and you're idling the engine, it still has to feed fuel into the engine to keep it idling, because the momentum's not pushing the engine instead. So you actually burn more fuel by coasting around, around bends. That's really boring, isn't it? I'm still going to put that on the internet, though. <laughs> well, it's a good job it's not my fuel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheaters, <Ralph>. Thanks. <laughs> At the end of the road, turn left, then turn right. She's such a good driver. Vicky, turn well done. Left, then it's almost oh, like you're a, right. you're a proper driving instructor. <laughs> no, she's been getting lessons with somebody else on the slide. Have you been Pretty. getting lessons elsewhere? No. <laughs> to be fair, your mum has took you out loads. Has she? She's been a really good yes. rider, hasn't she? Yeah. There's mixed reviews on going out with parents like turn mum and right. dad. Then, at the end of How's the your mum and dad been? Right. I think it can be stressful at times. They're less patient, right? Then your driving instructor would be. Yeah, but that's probably because they like don't know what to expect. And they don't have pedals. Yeah. Yeah. No, so if you go out with your mum yeah. and dad, any tips for people at home at on how to road, make it less stressful? Right. I think just patience. Just be a confident badass like me. <laughs> no, as well, um, like explaining what you're gonna do. Yeah, okay, you yes. found that helped a lot, yeah. didn't you? Okay. Then your mum wasn't right. going, what are you going Yeah. <laughs> that works with the examiner as well. Uh, should they not know what I'm going to do? Or? If you tell them, though, it gives them the reassurance about 
the fact that you're going to do the right thing next instead of them having to guess what you're going to do next, whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. So if you say, I'm going to check my mirrors, they'll probably won't even look at you. They'll just assume that you're going to check your mirrors because you said it. I'd still recommend from a safety point of view that still you check, check Still actually just check your mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but if you say right now, our oh, highway maintenance, I'm going to hang back and just see what's happening here, then great, I know that you're not going to speed up and do something stupid, right? Would you indicate here though, Vicky, uh, if this was you driving? Riley, how many times have we had a conversation? Yeah, right, yeah. I <laughs> what? She tells me not to. Yeah, correct, but. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, she t also tells me in some situations to. After right, yards, so it's confusing. Right. On a dual carriageway. If you've got multiple lanes. Yeah. Does yeah. really say it all? Like when Francis explains it. No, like, yeah. <laughs> so. Turn right. When was it the other day that I had to signal when I didn't? Was it when you were changing lanes? Well, I was changing lanes something? to overtake something. Yeah. Like, so I was I was just going around something. How, why would you have to signal then then? Because you're changing lanes. But if you're actually just moving onto the wrong side of the road and there's driveways and stuff in the way, then you could look like you're driving down one of the driveways or turning right. She's looking at you like she's looking at me there. Looking at me like, <laughs> like yeah, whatever. Do you know who I am? <laughs> I've been to the Houses of Parliament. I'll do what I want. <laughs> Riley's argument was, well, I wasn't fully in the right-hand lane, though. I only used half of it. Doesn't matter. We've moved over. Oh, you over. were changing lanes. Okay. We, we were yeah. over the lane marking for our lane and half into the other. So yes, we did need a signal. I put up a video on TikTok about why you shouldn't change lanes, why you shouldn't signal to do overtakes unless you're changing lanes. And it got like 2 million views and half of the comments are like, this guy's chatting shit, he's not even going to drive in the shot down. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. <laughs> Cheers. Take the second exit. I'm so glad that you've had that conversation with her as well. Because <laughs> you've also had this conversation with your mum. Yeah, but my mum told me two signals. Oh, so confusing. On a dual carriageway, the same as what me and Francis have just said. Oh, lovely. Beautiful line around the roundabout, hugging the outside, collecting all the crap in Vicky's tyre. <laughs> but it's correct, you have to do that. No one else does that, right? That's why but all the rubbish is there. That's all the rubbish is there. <laughs> There's only land drivers going through it. How much did you yes. get quoted for your insurance, like, for your Renault? The most expensive was eight grand and the cheapest was like three and a half. Oh, that's quite a lot. Yeah. Three thousand pounds? Three thousand, And yeah. you don't even live in London? At all. How big's the engine? 1.5. That's not that fast. It's not, no. And it's a diesel. And it's a diesel, diesel, so you can't drive it that fast anyway. So three grand, um, is that because of what you do? Did you put down in your job description that you're a builder? All round legend. <laughs> is that in the drop down box? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> There's so many different things that can influence the cost of your insurance, but it might be the car. That was with a black box as well. With a black box? Mm -hmm. Wow. And I didn't want a black box because I do speed again. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'll cut that bit out, have I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pass and do a bit of speeding. That's why your insurance is three grand. That's did the father's start the video. Did you write that in the any more information? Yeah. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> so there's going to be loads of you watching that have recently passed and have had to deal with getting insurance. Straight on here. It's, it's left. Oh, is it left? left, left Don't left. listen to me. What am I talking about? Any Turn tips left. for getting cheaper insurance? In the comments, please. We're all going to benefit from this. And I might actually do a video about how to insure your car and make sure you get the cheapest price because it is a mishmash of info every single After piece of information yards, right that you give the them and take affects the, the price exit. of your quote so you can't lie you can't lie but you can lie. slightly alter certain information like Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit at work you do a few different things you could say you're a builder you could say you're a site manager you could say you're an apprentice they're all true right yeah yeah so like we can say different things and, and make a, a different quote. And it is hard, especially when you're 17 and it's your first time of looking and, and it's like, well, do I really need to be fully comprehensive? Or can I just be third party? And do I really need legal cover? And do I need breakdown cover? And mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's a minefield, isn't it, if you don't know what you're looking for? Probably could have had a picnic in this gap, though, yes. Riley, because we're not looking at their signals, are we? No. Oh, right, I'm going to go. 
small Eventually. bit of hesitation. But that's okay, it's a minor, right? Put it to the back of your minor carry on driving. Who cares? Um, is that also with putting your mum or dad or both on your insurance as well and making you a second driver? Yeah, you can have like three named people on yeah. your insurance. Yeah, and so it's still three grand with your mum and dad. Yeah. Who've got all those years of driving history. Yeah. Wow. Although you can't do that because After if you're... After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. YouTube disclaimer, you if you are going to be the main driver, you have to make you the main driver and put other people as secondary drivers. Even if it makes your insurance quote cheaper to put your mum or dad as a, name, a main driver. Can't do that. Can't lie on insurance. That's my YouTube disclaimer. <laughs> um, brilliant. We are now finished with the route. And... I guess I'm going to direct you back to the test centre. Yes. You know, I just want me to crash straight through it. <laughs> Don't drive through the gates. Is it closed? Yeah. Oh, lucky we um, Should I go right or? escaped at the right time. Turn. Yeah, you can go right and then just park up on the road if you want us. Damn. Because we're doing this on a Saturday, are they closing early? It's only 3.40. Yeah, yeah. Part-time examiners. No wonder we've got oh, so much, so examiners. much backlog with the examiners working part time in Hartlepool. Don't you be just in a Hartlepool examiner? And they're on strike. Oh, Riley. Yeah. Do you want to go to the drive-through? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I just want to clarify. It's not the examiners' fault for striking that there's massive backlogs. If you haven't seen the video where I explained it properly, click here. It's right here. It's not the examiners' fault at all. They're doing things to help you and make the situation better. Um, drive-through. Yeah. Can I please have? Um, mm. uh, can I get um, small fries mm. and a small Coke Zero, please? Oh, Jesus, yes. Nice. Drive through. Are you getting stuff, Riley? I'm going then, yeah. What are you having? You've got to do the ordering, by the way. I know, right. Because you're in the driver's side. Which one? That one. Be the quickest. This one. Yeah, go for it. Oh, open your window. No. No? Oh, okay. You normally get mozzarella dippers, do you want? Neutral. Um, Handbrake. Hello, you're looking after that. Uh, no. Can I take your order, please? Can yeah. I get small fries and small Coke Zero? Uh, small fries and a small Coke Zero. Please. Please. Yeah. Can I get a cheeseburger medium fries, please? Um, can I have a cheeseburger with medium fries? Yeah. And then, can I have a plain cheeseburger, please? Yeah. And that's everything, thanks. Next one, the money comes, please. What Thank is you. a plain cheeseburger? Uh -huh. A plain cheeseburger is... What is this? <laughs> Why Absolute don't you know madness. what a plain cheeseburger is? What a cheese... It's got cheese on it, so it's not plain. Oh, you mean without gherkins? Yeah, yeah like yeah, and the onions and the sauce and, and stuff. No onions or... No ketchup? What no. a dry, dry, dry burger? Yeah. No. No? I'm, I'm <laughs> no. No? <laughs> Nah. That's not a lewd. A no. Right. Yeah. Oh, missed the pole. Well done. No <laughs> problem there. So when you're trying to make the car move slowly, just think of it like a manoeuvre. Instead of like going and then stopping yeah. jerkily, if you know you're only going to go like five metres, just think of it like parking yes. and clutch control. Oh my God, I'm doing driving lessons in a <laughs> drive through <laughs> Imagine if this is part of your test instead of doing a manoeuvre, just can you just go around and get us a coffee? This is wicked. Because people do this and it's like the first thing they do when they pass and nobody's taught you how to drive through before. Open. Open window. Please, Deb. Oh, thanks. Yes, yeah. That is Do you not think it's super awkward when they're just like there? And you've got your window open and they're just staring. And you've got a bunch of cameras in their face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might be a little bit, right? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Don't normally get this in Hartlepool. Hartlepool. That's my pirate <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bib. Thank you, Riley. Do you want me to just shut out? Yes, you can do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful bit of parking. Well done straight inside the line. Um, that was awesome. Give Riley loads of encouragement. Um, she's really worked hard to get this good at driving. Um, and she's done so many good things as well. Follow her on LinkedIn. 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 
<laughs> Riley Sweeney, just a name. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.